Let's go live now to former Democratic Senator Donald Betts. Thanks for your time. Was this the right call from Joe Biden to, to vacate the field? Absolutely. Uh, he's heard the, the cries from the Democratic Party. He has uh, succumbed to the pressure. And I think he's done it in a very strategic way just after the Republican uh, convention. Uh, so I think he's, he's, and it's Sunday in America. Everyone's just leaving church and they're having dinner and discussions are happening around the, the, the kitchen table. So it's, it's um, right on time, I believe so. What's your read on the legacy of President Joe Biden? Now, one term, vice president with Barack Obama, but 50 years of political contribution. Absolutely remarkable. Uh, probably one of the most remarkable political figures in my time, of course, but in American history. Uh, president Biden has ushered in the first woman vice president of the United States and potentially the first female president of the United States in the history of the United States. Not only that, but uh, Joe Biden has done some remarkable things in terms of the small things we don't discuss in terms of health care and hearing aids for the senior citizens and small health wins that everyday Americans depend on uh, that everyone doesn't see. It's the, uh, all politics is local and, and President Joe Biden understands that. He's been a force to be reckoned with. And, um, you know, I, I give my full um, respect and, and honor to such a great man who has made a huge impact in American policy, as well as Australia. I mean, just recently, when our, our very own prime minister was in the United States, um, President Biden and um, our prime minister discussed indigenous to indigenous trade and doing some work with uh, U.S. Native Americans and uh, indigenous Australians here in Australia. So just the small things that people fail to look at, President Biden has always turned his attention to. So um, I'm really excited excited for the future of America and the future of the Democratic Party. Can Kamala Harris win in November? Absolutely, absolutely, uh, President, uh, Vice President Kamala Harris, Kamala Harris can win. If you look at Project 25, it sets women back ages. You know, it takes women's rights away. Uh, so for this year, I believe this campaign is the campaign for women and the right of women to really carve out a future for their health, their, their uh, reproductive health, but also their own autonomy of how they want to lead and be. Uh, Kamala Harris will, will put up that fight. And I, um, and, and I, I believe the master strategist in Joe Biden, he, he, he can foresee that. He knows what he's doing. And I think um, President, uh, former President Donald Trump's going to have to be very careful how he addresses and deals with uh, Kamala Harris, especially on debates, uh, the way he refers to her in terms of um, her, her gender and her race. Uh, this is going to put him in a very awkward situation because every word that he says about this presumptive nominee can be damning to his own campaign. So it'll be interesting to see what happens at the, first, at the next debate. Yeah, indeed. That's going to be... We'll, we'll all be watching it because for a whole range of reasons, the, the age question, it, it flips on its head now. Uh, they, the Republicans obviously targeting the age and um, ability uh, of, of Joe Biden to do the job. Now that, that flips, given Harris is 20 years younger than, than Trump. So I wonder how that plays out. But Donald Trump fires up his base... Uh, like like no other. This, this is a, an individual who will get a core amount of turnout and, and people show up because they're energised. Will Kamala Harris energise the Democratic base? I believe she will. I believe uh, she will, and I think strategically, if they choose the right vice presidential candidate... That candidate is going to energize the party like never before. Um, you got to remember, Democrat Party is a major political party. So whoever they pull out of the box, who, whatever vice president they pull out of the box, they're going to keep that in mind. Uh, and they're also looking at how this next pick is going to come up against the, uh, the presumptive vice president nominee on Trump's side. 
Uh, will that what will that debate look like, and who can can put that uh, that presumptive vice president on the Republican side on his on his heels? So it's really interesting. I think the fight is on, as Trump says, fight, fight, fight. The Democrats are going to fight, fight, fight along with the Republican Party. Former Kansas Democratic Senator Donald Betts, appreciate your time. Thanks. Thanks for having me.